Hi guys, I'm Exa Chaos and welcome to a brand new series of Project Hospital. There has been a number of updates and I think it is time for us to play it again. It's also gone from early access to mainstream, I believe, version, and I think we're at version 1.1. So I am pretty excited to play that again. Also, there's a lot of stuff that's going on in the medical world these days. And so I just kind of, you know, get that sense that I should be playing a, a hospital game. Also, it's one of those hospital games that I really like. Um, so first, first few things, this is going to be the emergency master hospital. So what we're going to say is what, what I'm going to try and do here is of course, show you all the new stuff, but also I want to, and we want to get, um, a profitable hospital. This is not sandbox. We will be building a hospital so that we can get it, uh, get it nice and profitable and run it the way we want to. Um, but yeah, so it's, but we'll, we'll, we'll try and do as many emergencies as we can. So we're going to have a pretty big emergency department eventually, probably not day one, but eventually we're going to have a pretty big emergency department so that I can in the later game uh, manage um, a lot of these emergencies that keep popping up and manage them like outbreaks and earthquakes and car crashes and those kind of things. I want to be able to do that. I think that's going to be the fun part of this. There's also the doctor's DLC that's included in this. So if we want to take over a patient and diagnose them ourselves, we will be doing that. Uh, not not all the time though. I think that takes a lot of time and I'm not a doctor, but every now and again, I do like to intervene a little bit and play a little bit as the doctor, but the predominant will be, predominance will be the simulation, building the game and so on, building the hospital and so on, make getting profitable. So yeah, as per always, this is a new series. So if you'd like us to see to see us continue this, please hit that like button. Um, I do appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, and there is a Discord for the channel. The Exact Chaos Discord is out there. Um, the link will be in the description below. So please go ahead and join the Discord, join the community, and have fun and discussions with us as we go. Now, without any further ado, let us uh, jump in here and see what we're going to do. So I've picked a pretty reasonable plot size I think 96 by 96 it might be not too sure we'll probably start seeing that as soon as we can uh, well as soon as we start building we'll see a little bit going on over there so ambulance is over here ambulance drop off is over here and that's kind of why I took this plot so we can start with a pretty standard little access uh, well a pretty standard little hospital um, in this front block over here. We don't need to um, include the ambulance slot just yet. And then we can expand ourselves outbound. And I'm try going to try and make it look um, a little bit more reasonable and nice um, in terms of, you know, you, what's the decor like and, and so on and so forth. Okay, now let's get into building. We can build foundation straight away. Oh yeah, it's pretty sizable. Okay, so we've got the trees about one away. So I think let's do no so there is a pretty decent sidewalk there so let's go one away from the trees so I think that's the spot there so if we go and we need to bear in mind we only have a hundred thousand in cash so what we'll do is we will limit the length to this side and extend it a little bit more on that side so that we can have a door right in front of the ambulance drop-off I think that's kind of going to be our starting point 15 by 25 is going to be our starting point over here <coughs> and hopefully that will be enough room to get the basics going okay so there we go uh, I don't believe well we do need to put walls in there so uh, the color scheme for this hospital is going to be, well, red is the emergency color, but I, I think I'd rather do a slightly different color scheme. Well, we could just do red internally. Well, anyway, let's start off with, with getting a nice external wall going. The only real proper external walls that I would be interested in would be either white or that brick, brick wall. That's just what white wall. I think white wall on the ex on the on the on the outside is is probably um, what we would want to see in terms of a hospital. Um, this is something that's kind of confused me about this game is the fact that you just build build walls for the one angle. The other side, you just kind of imagine it's the right color. Then the rest will be 
that inside will need to be something a little bit more oh actually this is an external wall i would imagine exterior wall okay maybe, maybe that's more the kind of wall exterior wall with a pattern base okay but i don't want that to be maybe that one will go with the yellow color and we'll get a pattern base like this yeah actually let's do that that's that's the kind of look and feel that i would be be liking okay so there's the hospital's ex exterior we can switch that up and you can see that's a pretty white but it's not uh, completely white now internally it's red because it's going to be um, and maybe we yeah let's just do with go with red i don't want it to be overwhelmingly red uh but we'll we'll go with a little bit of red. this is a two color stripe that's just a stripe i think a middle stripe that one uh, i actually i think i like this one a little bit better because you can actually see it while it's down there so you can see which departments you're in so let's do that put that in there and put that in there okay so first things first we need a few rooms so we'll go over here and they will say to us that unlock um, by completing insurance company objectives what open an emergency clinic so an emergency clinic um, wow this is what we want okay now we can see what we need over here that's hospitalization we needed to check this side the rooms we need is a waiting room a reception and a doctor's office uh, we don't need a reception but a waiting room and a doctor's office is absolutely required and we may actually start it out by kind of not doing going too crazy with things so what i'm thinking i'm tempted to put our door over here so if we go back here and we'll get our doors uh, I want a, obviously a very nice sliding double door for it. Um, we, oh wow! So I wanted to do something like that. So it's a pretty decent size, and then we'll start by putting some stuff in here, and probably have. Uh, uh, we could do that. I think I think that's actually the the more appropriate thing for us to do, so that we can completely expand on the other side. So we'll do that. That's our doorway over there. So that's where. Um, people will mainly be coming in um, and while we're at it I'll I'll go ahead and do the the externals all at the same time so I think I think we're gonna go a slightly wider something like that so that's the the access point over there similarly we want to do an access point here for the for this guy but we might give it a little bit of a rest so first things first I do want us to potentially use this area here as waiting maybe put a bathroom um, all the way over here actually let's start by doing that okay so if we're saying we're going to do a bathroom and maybe a cleaning closet next to it and then the waiting room will be in there i think that's actually a quite a good idea so let's grab from the walls perspective i think we will grab and we are on the red here i think we will grab maybe the white tiles something like that white walls and tiles um, for the bathroom how many spots one two three four five maybe so we'll do a little something like that five by five and then we'll do one two three um, like so okay and now this area is going to be our our basics so we'll grab a white door just a standard white door in here for the bathroom I think that's going to be perfect we'll do a staff only door not this is x-ray door door with window well door with window is okay but uh where's the staff doors though we don't have staff doors i was sure there was something like a staff door anyway ah restricted the area basically anyway it doesn't really matter too much door with window is what it's going to be over here um, and that will be our our uh, cleaning closet okay i'm not going to necessarily f fill that in all the way now now the next thing we need to do is that we need to get to some doctor's rooms and we don't need huge doctor's rooms uh, there's also this uh, kind of prefabs that we've got here so if we go emergency department doctor's office we've got the four by six kind of thing over here uh, and i believe we can rotate it like you know something like this then we could do six by eight um is there a six by six four by six oh cleaning closets and common rooms and restrooms 
and all these kind of things but I would like a doctor's office that is a reasonable size so if we say that for instance yeah but I whether we do the prefabs I'm not I'm not too 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 fussed about the prefabs let's try our own and we do a five by six so now we need something a little bit more intriguing for the doctor's office and I think I'll try that light wood panels on the on the bottom though or shall we just do the colored tile so that we at least maintain our our area so that's five uh, well it's five already five by six is kind of the, the thing that I was thinking and then what we could do is we could do a similar one on the other side five by six so that was kind of the idea that I was having but let's uh, let's let's leave that for now and we'll get the and we we'll get this room kind of sorted out so if we go back to this and I'll see the emergency department we need a, we need a waiting room um, but we don't necessarily need a reception um, and we need a doctor's office so we'll just kind of zone this as a doctor's office and then they'll kind of tell us what missing equipment we have over there so we can start building it and at least that is showing up in that panel also need some flooring over here <clears throat> the doctor's office I want to have a slightly fancier look and feel tall glass small glass small glass tall glass but I would like a glass maybe glass walls um, how pricey is glass walls not that pricey so we'll get a glass door for the doctor's office that's about the right color I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna squeeze it in like so we're gonna have a couple of glass walls um, potentially on both sides Yeah, because that's kind of the oof. I don't know if that actually works. How does that look? Yeah, 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 yeah. That works. That actually works. Okay. Let's get that all that come down. Okay, now shall we um we don't need anything else. I think that's enough clean and open space over there. Now we're going to need to get some equipment over here. So in the doctor's office, we will need um an office desk for the doctor and I'm kind of tempted to put that um, like so over here okay the doctor needs a few other things as well but firstly we'll need an office chair what's the difference in cost of these two wow ridiculous difference in cost so we'll grab that over there there's going to be a stool I think um, and I'm not make sure that our our um, okay so there's gonna be a stool over there for the patient I think that's gonna be fine what I'm tempted is if I pick up this can I just change the color yeah I want to make sure that we've got the same color scheme kind of running everywhere and um, we can also change the color of that but I think that's a little over the top okay the next thing we need is the doctor needs a bit of a PC right over there probably needs a printer right there that's okay then we need an examination table and we're gonna go with the red color the examination table uh, needs to be a little bit out of the way I believe uh, actually that spot over there is not too bad okay we will need <clears throat> some equipment wall mounted or whatever let's get an equipment cabinet tall variety or shall we grab the others uh, we can't use any of that spot there oh that's on the ground can we there's a wall hung right yeah wall mounted exactly that's that's i think the thing that i'm that i'm after it's not going to be great over there so let's see what else do we need right here next to it well we need some lighting but i think the lighting from from the roof is going to be the right call for us over here we don't have tons of space we will place the yeah we'll place that one over there that's pretty good we're going to do with disinfectant stuff um potentially even a small sink over here like so um, I think that's about the right for us mobile equipment um, audio monitor so we need a few things that's going to be on a on an equipment table potentially I feel like there's a there's a little something there if we do an equipment table over there I like the idea of putting it over there and then we can start to put some of these CR, audio meters and CR Stuff. oh we also need the uh, the cabinet so the equipment cabinet can go over here and we'll place the other piece of equipment right on there nice okay 
actually we're it's a little all clumped together now we don't need all the space anymore um, and what we'll do is we'll just have our bin um, right over there so that's that's kind of all we need but now we can kind of grab some stuff like a whiteboard maybe somewhere over here we can see about some other decorations um, yes what I was wondering is the dressing screen potentially um, something a little like this I don't know are there other options with the dressing screen can't really see it maybe a little bit of a bookshelf up on the wall here somewhere um, bookcase maybe a something a little better with seating or anything like that Nah, I don't think so I don't think so let's see any other oh there's other posters and notice boards and stuff that we can we can place up there potentially I don't know they don't seem to like it being placed up there but I don't mind it too much um, we'll get ourselves a bit of a plant um, maybe somewhere here next to this a pumpkin plant we'll just grab a plant in there um, that's that's gonna be okay I think I think that's gonna be sufficient over here um, for now maybe we'll mix it up a little bit later but I think that's okay. There's not. Is there going to be room for a co coffee mug somewhere? They don't want it. They don't want a coffee mug anywhere in here. We'll grab a clock, and I'm amazed that it doesn't actually fit in anywhere. Um, do, 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 do anything else that we want? Decor wise, that's external. Oh, and now I don't think we can. I don't think we can actually rotate things. But what I wanted to do is when I say doctor's office wall decal like that okay so we'll have doctor's office and uh yeah let's do that why doctor's office needs to be placed on a wall oh you can't do it on the glass wall so what we'll do is we'll place it over there can't we give it a nice funky color and put it there okay let's bring up the walls and see what we've got uh, well, we'll need to do that. Okay, well, we'll do that then. We'll do doctor's office uh, and the decal one. Something like that. We'll do We'll do that. Whoops, out, out of the game. Okay, what are we missing here? Uh, a floor. So let's grab a floor. Um, I don't like a lot of this let's uh I'm, I'm gonna go with the wood flooring the laminate flooring laminate flooring hardwood flooring is it the same cost let's go with the hardwood flooring then the doctor's gonna love it hardwood flooring over there i like it now there's some staff missing over here which we will get to in a minute i'm just wondering how much room we're gonna have we potentially can have an emergency section further over here we can add additional um, spots in there I kind of like the idea of doing that as well okay we also need to grab go ahead and well let's do the let's just get the um, get these basics done as well so let's get the cleaning closet whoops cleaning closet in there and we'll get the um, what do we need we need a restroom um, right there so that's that we'll get uh, we'll also need stuff like common rooms and so on but that'll be the next step once we opened up for business so let's go back here we'll grab the equipment that we need so we need some shelving in here so we'll do like two shelves we'll get some cleaning carts one two cleaning carts and i think that should be sufficient for now we'll go ahead and give ourselves a bit of a lab sink or something in there it just feels like the cleaning closet can benefit from something like that uh, over here we'll just have the small white or the medium white ceramic tiles we're going to do it pretty straightforward and easy over there um, in here we instead will have some WC's so the question is how many would be an appropriate amount over here there's a lot of space in here so potentially something like that so we'll give it a little bit of extra room in there we'll give ourselves some sinks on this side well we don't potentially we don't need all of that all right um, so shall we just get rid of that guy 
and we'll get rid of that guy. So there's only going to be two of them. Um, there'll be a, a bit of a hand dryer next to each one of those. We'll get a mirror over the top and we'll get a small little trash bin underneath. Whether that's fully useful, I have no idea just yet. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put... Um, we're going to try and put a very um, similar wall feature in there. So we'll say do this and do that. Ah, so now we potentially have two larger ones and a smaller one and put and you know what I don't think we actually need it um, I don't think we actually need to go out all that far to be honest just the two is, is about the right so let's do that it's not a complete um, it's not completely the same okay let's grab ourselves some doors over here something that is going to give us a little bit of privacy WC door is going to hang in the air so we're not going to go with that one uh, we'll just go with the standard white door there there and there perfect and what we'll do is we'll add um, <clears throat> maybe some what other bits and pieces can we have we can grab a trash can but we could also do a bit of a plant maybe instead so let's grab wow that seems huge do something like this then we'll go ahead and get a plant uh, maybe those ones <laughs> that's not gonna work something a little smaller maybe yeah let's do that let's go ahead and do that okay now let's get the flooring in place um, nice flooring I'm just gonna go with the small white ceramic over here and there we go that's the bathroom now if we go with the decals where which is where exactly where was the um, the de oh here it is what's next oh that's just more decal stuff is there a, there must be a restroom and a broom closet well there's the broom closet going on the red over there that's the broom closet uh, restrooms really there's no restroom button thingy oh there is in fact there is we'll do that one over there so that's going to be pretty nice now <clears throat> let's uh, get all of those things down oh we can still not get them down but anyway now I want to make sure that we give us a wall to start with over here and we are using the double strip like so so let's say one two three and we're going with five like so and that's going to be our our reception slash and the waiting area will be in here actually so let's get, just let's just grab um, oh, let's just finish finish off that little section there so let's do that we'll get we'll run that one up to there we'll do a little bit of that and we'll update that as we go so that's gonna be the second doctor's office I believe and for now we just need to put some flooring down here <clears throat> I, I would like us to oh and here is where you can actually do tons of good stuff here so let's just go with the medium white tile we'll go with white floor instead so we'll do white floor like so we can add an extra slither there um, and we'll do white floor like that and then I do like if we if we actually grab ourselves something like that Ooh, that's not gonna work is it Let's just go white floor for now and we'll go funny detail stuff later um, once we um, have a little bit more room and so on going for us. Anyway, we'll start off with that. This area over here will be reception and then that area will be the waiting room. So let's grab it. Uh, we want the waiting room um, over here. Okay, that's the waiting room. And this area over here will be a pretty sizable reception but I think the reception is going to be kind of where it's at gonna be the end of this for now um, okay so from a reception point of view we need some reception desks so let's get ourselves and we'll place it in front of in front of this so we'll do that is that a middle oh that's a middle section actually um, okay, now let's uh, let's not let's not do the middle. Let's uh, get rid of that one. Let's go with the info. Oh man, 
Okay, that's oh, that's I think that's gonna be fine. That's the, gonna be the middle, and then we're just gonna do both sides of it. I don't think we need anything more than that. Okay, we're gonna grab ourselves um, a nice fancy chair. Really? That's not accessible. Oh, I don't, do we need? I'm not sure we need that. Okay, let's uh, let's see if 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 it works without that. Okay, let's um, let's get rid of this one for now. I'm not going to do the fancy chairs there. We'll grab ourselves a little PC in there. That's okay. Oh, and it does in fact need a chair. We'll do a stool over there. So I think that's that's okay. I think that's going to work pretty nicely. Then we're going to do some nice seating areas over here. So we want to make sure that potentially. Yeah, I like I like that as an option. Um, we'll do and we'll do a little something like that over here. We will also do um, a bit of seating in the waiting area, like so. We will place. Okay, we'll get to that now. Um, so this area yet again. I think believe we've got everything we need right there. Receptionist can work over there and all of this is still kind of wide open for for use Whether we need all of this, I don't know maybe that's gonna be sufficient, but we'll get to that a little bit later If we click over here, we need one of these Q things So I'm thinking a Q thing We don't need it though. We don't need it per se but it would be useful if there is a queue thing over there and then we just need a bit of a monitor uh, maybe something like that that's going to be i hope that's going to be okay okay so that's that's it now let's get some staff in here if we go back to this section we are going to need doctors so let's grab uh, a doctor uh, we want a daytime doctor to start with uh, what does this mean? Oh, this is the amount of staff I believe we have on schedule and advanced diagnostics. So I want a doctor with advanced diagnostics. That is um, kind of what I would like, but it seems like that is not achievable. Find new candidates. I'm not paying for that. We're going to stick with what we've got then instead. So we have just general, just basic diagnostics. So maybe we'll just get the doctor with the best diagnostic skill though they are very very night owl resistance i think maybe this one is the one instead so we don't have to we don't overpay things immediately so we'll get uh, rachel martin over here alternatively no i think rachel martin is the one for us Ooh, alternatively i think this is a this is going to be okay female resident over here i think that's probably going to be okay that's the best. I think that's that's very good for us. Carol White is a, well, a fellow, so it's resident attending fellow, and I don't know what the other one is. Anyway, we'll get we'll get Lisa. Let's get Lisa. Lisa's Lisa's good. Lisa's good. Let's grab Lisa. Hospital now accepts patients. Excellent. So that's fine. We'll also go over here and we'll grab ourselves a nurse receptionist over here. So receptionist skill is pretty good. I think that's the one, Jessica Davis. She's a little slow though. Uh, let's let's grab. Yeah, but she's got. Yeah, or other uh, Susan. Let's get Susan. We'll a nurse specialist that is a receptionist. We'll get Susan to come and work there, and that is going to be it for us. We do need to then, of course, look into um, providing um, a common room and so on. So there we go. We've spent the entire first episode. Uh, kind of just getting our basics in place and I think now we do have our basics there's going to be additional stuff that we need ASAP our money is looking pretty good we've spent 30k of our hundred thousand um, so I believe we'll be able to expand um, here a little bit more fairly quickly to get all the other bits and pieces that we need uh, also need to make sure that we have the right spot for these guys to come straight into um, but I'm also almost tempted to do a nice long section just with the door on the outside um, so that it doesn't really interfere with the rest of the hospital practices over there guys um, so we didn't even see our first patient today but I'm confident that we're on the right track over here 
Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, if you want to see more of this, please uh, hit that like button. Um, leave your comments down below. Uh, is this the way you would do it? Is there something that I did that I missed that you need to tell me about? Obviously, please feel free to do so and come and join us on the Discord where we have more extended conversations about uh, what was happening in the games that we're currently playing. Okay, thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.